morning, Kay. After the offense lost one of its major weapons earlier in the week with rookie receiver Henry Ruggs going on the COVID-19 list, head coach John Gruden announced yesterday that the defense dealing with a variety of injuries also won't be with several key players, including starters Jonathan Abram, Cleland Farrell, and Nick Morrow tonight. Despite all of that, Gruden saying that the morale for this team is still very high with the playoffs in sight. They're not going in the tank. Interim defensive coordinator Rod Marinelli will make his Raiders debut in that role tonight, and he says he doesn't care who's in or not. He enjoys rallying his guys to play hard and fast no matter the circumstances. Of course, they'll be facing a Chargers offense led by rookie quarterback Justin Herbert, and his weapons might be shorthanded as well, with stars Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, and Austin Eckler all questionable to play as well. Omar, I'm excited about this one. A little AFC West battle under the bright lights. Taking a look at the playoff picture now in the AFC. The Raiders on the outside looking in. They need a win tonight. Can they rally to stay in the hunt for a wild card spot? Three games left on the schedule. Kyle, which AFC team in this playoff picture we're looking at is sort of most intriguing to you? Which one do you gravitate towards most? Tense moments in the Brandt household this morning as we huddled around our television set watching CBS 2 New York, watching the scroll of school districts on the bottom of the screen, just hoping, praying we would see ours. And we did. It was bedlam. My children are not in the hunt for a snow day. They're already outside and it's 7 a.m. Eastern in the dark. It is a hell of a day at the Brandt household. But will it be a hell of a day tonight? Here's let me ask you a question. What if I were to tell you a team beat the New Orleans Saints by double digits? beat the Chiefs in Arrowhead, and you know that Browns team that was scoring 40-plus points going up and down the field the other night? This team held that Browns team to six points, and yet this team is probably not going to make the playoffs. You'd say, who the hell is that? Well, they kick off tonight. It's the Las Vegas Raiders, and I'm going to try to keep it positive. Give me some good Raiders. Give me. I've been very negative all week. I've been just slapping them around and pissed off them. This is the Las Vegas Raiders you're going to see tonight on the precipice of the offseason just bombs away on the world champs in their house. They've got it. They've got speed, they've got talent, they've got Aguilar. And then if you think they're just a flashy Raiders team, watch them D up Baker and the Browns and the running game. They have all of this in them. You could play this for the next hour, what they did to the Browns that day in weather conditions in Cleveland. What do we take away from this? Why are they so intriguing? Because if they have that kind of knockout power where they can beat the Chiefs and they can beat the Saints, but they get housed by about 80 points by the Falcons. I don't know what the problem is. That tells me they got something in their head, maybe in their hearts, or maybe they don't have something. I know this, that the calling card of a John Gruden team is supposed to be toughness. Allegedly, we better see it tonight because we've seen it in flashes. Flashes are not enough. You can talk the whole offseason that you beat the Chiefs. The Chiefs will be in the Super Bowl. You don't even go to the wild card. Now that's intriguing. Mm, I hear you on that, KB. Um, this morning, I decided to rock a Seattle Supersonic shirt. The NBA has started, and I want to okay. show some love to my city. Um, and, of course, you guys know I'm a big fan of Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, mainly because when they were on the fast break, they were the most dangerous combo in all of the NBA. When they got moving, when they were moving forward on the fast break, I don't feel like anybody could stop them. I feel like it's the same thing for Lamar Jackson. When he gets moving, when that dude decides, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna take it, he's unstoppable. Now, for most of the year, I, I feel like it was like watching the Avengers last two movies and waiting for the Incredible Hulk to transform. It's like, bro, where are you at? Th there's a fight going on. Do it. Are, are, are you here? <laughs> what do I need to do to get you mad? I, I, need you to, I need you to turn into Hulk right now. Lamar Jackson did that. He was making plays with his legs and, of course, throwing it to Marquise Brown. But there's some things they have to deal with. Once again, they're dealing with adversity. There's a few guys that are on the COVID list. And we don't know. It's still up in the air if they're going to play or not. Marquise Brown, one of those guys that's on the COVID list as of right now. And I've been reading jokes online. They're saying he can't catch a football, but he can catch COVID. I'm not going to go that deep into it. What I do know is right now, these guys are making plays at the right time. In their schedule, they have the Jags, the Giants, and the Bengals remaining on the schedule. So if you're talking about what's going to happen moving forward, it seems like the Ravens are in perfect position to finish out the season 11-5 and, and with great momentum going into the playoffs.
I like it. It's getting me pumped. I love that robot over your shoulder, Nate, because it has been robotic for me to when I see Patriots, Dolphins, Patriots are going to be the favorites. Patriots are going to take care of business. It has been 20 years ingrained in my memory. In fact, 33 of the last 34 times the Patriots and Dolphins have played, the Patriots have been the favorites. The Dolphins have been the underdogs. Do you know who's favored this weekend wow. between Patriots and Dolphins? The Miami Dolphins. And you know who could put wow. a final nail in the coffin of the 2020 Patriots season this weekend? The Miami Dolphins. The playoffs, they're going to have to take care of themselves. There's going to be things that happen with the Ravens and the Raiders and the Browns and the Titans. The Dolphins can only worry about what they have to worry about. And they can be the team to finally put the stake in the Patriots this weekend. I know that the Patriots are coming in like a wounded boxer and it's, you know, someone on their last round and they just have their punch drunk. The knockout punch has to come this weekend. And I'm doing it righty. It's got to come lefty. It's got to come from Tua. This ah, could be it. And it cannot just okay. be for this year. If the Dolphins can beat the Patriots and knock them out, it could be the death knell for the Belichick era. It's hard to get back up with the Bills and the Titans ascending. This could be it. But guess what? There are ghosts. There are ghosts in that room. And there are ghosts that are haunting it. Mm. The Patriots are still the about it. champions in that more? division. They still beat the Dolphins in week one. And they would love nothing more than to finish this season with throwing a wrench in that Dolphins dream miracle year with mm. Tua under center. They're not dead yet. They're not eliminated yet. And they certainly don't want to give this game to Miami. I find the Dolphins fascinating because they could do it. They really can. Just go out and win. And yet, a piece of me wonders if they really are going to be able to. Patriots, Dolphins, let's see what we got. Miami, rookie quarterback, go and get it done. Go and kill the Patriots once and for all. I was oh, looking at the AFC playoff picture this morning and preparing for this show. And people hate change. I was thinking about how there are so many complaints about the change to the playoff rules, complaining about the extra playoff spot because it might water things down. We were hearing a lot of that. We're going to let a team that doesn't deserve to be in, in a team that isn't that caliber. Is anybody going to be upset getting to watch the Ravens and the Cardinals on Wild Card Weekend? Absolutely not. Two of the most exciting teams in the NFL right now. Just pointing that out, that extra wild, wild card spot is going to give us something really, really nice. I'm sorry, what was that? We're going to Tom Pelissero, I believe. He's on our program this morning. He's here getting a set for Thursday night action, which is just hours away from now on NFL Network on Fox and streaming on Prime Video. Tom, good morning to you. Chargers, Raiders, AFC West battle. What are some injuries on the L.A. side? I was also thinking about how much I was der wish Derwin James was out there tonight. Okay, the Chargers are banged up at the skill positions, but they should have one of their stars tonight. I am told the running back Austin Eckler, who's been dealing with a quadriceps injury, is expected to play tonight against the Raiders. Now, it's a more clouded situation with two of their other stars. Wide receivers Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, I'm told both are true game-time decisions. They were sore coming out of the game on Sunday, and the short week is not helping them, okay? Appreciate the update there. Uh, I do want to bring up, since it is throwback Thursday, I've got antlers behind me, clearly, that my, you know, cleverly placed by my four-year-old mm -hmm. niece. I wanted to bring back a photo, since it is the holiday times. Uh, I saw it on Twitter. I don't know much about the background. This is The Tonight Show congratulating you as a contest winner, you and your beautiful wife, Sarah, your pup. What is this? Can you explain? And look at, you, look at your face. <laughs> Every now and then, you're going on a hunt for something for an ugly sweater party, and you just happen across yeah. two sweater vests that were made by someone for some reason. You need them. My wife, Sarah, comes up with the idea for the Christmas card every year, tries to do something funny. That was the perfect match of the turtlenecks, the sweaters, yeah. and the fact that we could actually get our dog to smile for a second. 10 out of 10. Incredible, Tom. 10 Just incredible. out of 10. Incredible. 10 well done. Out of 10. God bless you. Well Your face is why you won. Your face. Thank you so much. Tom Pelissero, we'll have you back in a little bit talking yeah. TNF, talking other headlines around the National Football League. But we've got NFL football coming to Saturday. I'm sure you've seen that we've got lots of action. Special doubleheader. You can only see it here. It's exclusive to the nipple. Josh Allen and the Bills up against Melvin Gordon and the Broncos. Teddy Bridgewater against Aaron Rodgers. The playoff push is on. The NFL Network Saturday doubleheader starts Saturday at 4.